for me, CEO, I see that it gives us a rare opportunity to give uh, younger professionals and uh, people in our middle kind of layers an opportunity to get leadership development. And it's very rare that you can have something that's so well packaged um, and targeted to local government professionals. Um, not only that, it, it actually gives us an opportunity to bring people from all different parts of the organisation um, who may not have contact with each other to share ideas, bond, develop team strategies, uh, work together to solve problems. Um, and the results of that, for me, um, mean that most of the people that actually experience it go on to uh, expand their careers in local government and achieve uh, really good results for them as, a, as an individual as well as for the organisations they work for. I believe it's branded really well. So it has continuity um, over many years. People can invest in it, an organisation like mine can invest in it and know that there's going to be uh, consistent development for a large number of people and not just an individual group. Um, and we, we create almost a bit of an alumni in organisations of people who have been through it. So I think that's a real added value um, that, that doesn't come with a discrete one-off leadership development program. Look, it's about staff development, it's about professional development. However, I will say that the notion that there is a competition going on adds, um, it, it sharpens people's interest um, and focuses them uh, because they want to win. Now, uh, it's a competition, but winning isn't everything. And most people will uh, celebrate if they win, but they'll also celebrate if they don't. Um, I think it gives you a real opportunity to celebrate and to put uh, people uh, who may be in your organisation at the forefront of training and development and it highlights, I think, a council that's actually investing in people and achieving great things. Um, it, it adds to your brand, there's no doubt about that. Um, a lot of councils who have actually won the challenge have used that in their marketing to attract people. Um, and it has credibility in that marketplace, so uh, I think it is, it's invaluable. After they've fed back their experiences to the management team, we offer them the opportunity to stay together as a team, uh, recognising that they all go back into the different parts of the organisation. Uh, we say, here is a real project that the council needs to work on, uh, whether it be a continuous improvement, uh, problem solving, finding a solution to something that's actually going on today. And we say, would you like to work on this? And every group we've had so far has actually said, yeah, we've, we've bonded, we've formed a good friendship uh, and peer relationship, and we'd like to work on something tangible to, to, um, to solve a problem for the organisation in real time. So I think, you know, every group has done that and it's actually added benefit. And those relationships are maintained now for many years into the future. It's one of the primary ones we use for leadership development for particularly younger professionals. Um, because it is so targeted and so um, specific to, if you like, that local government experience, uh, it's, it's, it's a tangible thing for people to get a bedrock around their development and then they can add the other layers that will help them in, if they want to go off into another career. But for me, it is uh, its recognition of its foundation in local government that is its most kind of valuable component, I think. One of the aspects that we get a lot of benefit from is it's not just about those individuals who are on the team, the six or seven participants, we make sure that we build a capacity internally so our um, people and culture team will actually do some of the developmental work with the individuals as a team. We'll pick a, uh, a more senior person to provide uh, mentorship 
to them. Uh, we will get someone who's actually done the challenge before to come in and work with the group so that it's it's not a completely alien experience to them. They'll have some kind of uh, pre-experience before they go on to the challenge day. So our whole organisation is actually injecting itself into this process and um, it builds another capacity that you, you, don't, you wouldn't have if you sent six people off for a training course. Yeah, um, and also, I think it once again exposes uh, individuals to others in the organisations, not just from the skill base, but also from personalities, different levels in the organisation, and um, their relationships again that build and you know facilitate other relationships. And you know, like all public bodies, we do form silos. And this is one of the few ways we know effectively to break down those silos and then create better dialogue and, and better outcomes for the whole place rather than just an individual department 